The novel Queen Bee written by Emily Howard is a fun, anti-historical romp set during the Regency era. It's like Bridgerton crossed with the Count of Monte Cristo. Lady Ella Dalvey, a young woman, spends the majority of the book plotting her vengeance against Poppy. The person who used to be her best friend but betrayed her for a male who is the son of a duke. Poppy managed to climb to the highest levels of high society, while Ella was forced to flee in shame and had her reputation sullied. Almost three years later, Ella makes a covert return to London under an assumed name, intent on destroying Poppy's life and the happiness she has found. Her intentions, however, are thrown into disarray when she is confronted by the one and only boy she has ever loved, who just so happens to be Poppy's fiancé. The author, Howard, weaves a tale that is both intriguing and funny, delving into topics such as friendship, love, betrayal, and redemption. Her work is full of humor, romance, and mystery, all of which serve to keep the reader interested and delighted throughout the entire story. The characters are deep and nuanced, each with their own set of shortcomings and reasons for doing what they do. Ella is a likable and relatable protagonist since she deals with a variety of contradictory feelings and wants throughout the story. Poppy is a nefarious character who is crafty and manipulative, but she conceals her true nature by putting on an innocent and charming front. The relationship that Ella has with the boy that she loves is adorable and will make you want to swoon, but it is also loaded with tension and challenges. For readers who enjoy historical fiction, romance, and tales of vengeance, Queen Bee is a book that will provide them with a delightful and gratifying experience. This book is a celebration of the strength of female agency and resiliency in the face of a society that works to restrict those qualities in women. It is also a tale that teaches us that getting even with an enemy is not always the best course of action and that forgiving them might bring about greater healing than harboring resentment.